the Samsung Galaxy A03. I'm going to show you how to set this up step by step. First thing, go ahead and turn it on. Once you're on this welcome screen, go ahead and choose your language down here. I'm good with English in the US. I'm going to click on OK. I'm going to tap on Start down here. Now it says insert um, SIM card down there. I'm not going to insert my SIM card until after the setup is finished, okay? So if you want to see how to insert your uh, SIM card after the setup is finished, look in the link below in the description, okay? So from here, a few legal terms to review. Now in order to proceed, you must select at least these first two. So go ahead and read the details on that. And sending, um, sending of dynastic data, this is optional, okay? You can go ahead and check that or uncheck that. Okay, I'm fine with having all three of them checked. I'm going to tap on next for myself. Choose a Wi-Fi network. I can skip and then go to my Wi-Fi network later, but I'm going to go ahead and do it now since I'm home and I can go ahead and get that latest software update. Let me put my password to my Wi-Fi. After you put in your password, tap on connect. And it says connect it right there. I'm going to tap on next. Checking for updates. This may take a few minutes. Copy apps and data. You can choose to transfer your apps, photos, contacts, Google account, and more from a different device, okay? So for instance, if you tap on next here, you can use your old device to transfer information. So it says you need your old Android, Android phone, even an iPhone or an iPad, okay? If you have one of those, bring up to close, tap on next, okay? For me, let me click on the back here, and I'm gonna click on don't copy because I want a fresh, clean install on this phone, okay? So I'm gonna tap on don't copy down here. Here they're asking to sign into your Google account, basically your Gmail email address. You can go ahead and sign in here or create a new account, or you can skip and do it later, okay? For myself, I'm just gonna go ahead and skip for now. I'll do this later, skip again. Google services, now these are all optional, okay? Use location, allow scanning, send usage and diagnostic data. These are all optional, okay? It's up to you. But for myself, I'm okay with having all of them toggled on. I'm going to tap on accept down here. Protect your phone. They're asking for you to put in a password, okay? So you can do a face ID, face recognition, face ID password, as well as a pattern pin or password, okay? So, but for myself, I just want a pin. That's all I need, okay? So let me just tap on pin for myself. And it, later on, I can always go back and do the uh, face ID, face ID password that I wish as well, okay? Anyway, four digit pin here. So let me choose four digits. After you choose your four, di four digits, tap on continue, reconfirm one more time, and then tap on OK. Samsung account, you can go ahead and sign in right now with your email, phone number, or you can go ahead and use your, um, you can sign in with the QR code, or you can go ahead and create an account, or you can skip and do it later if you wish. Okay, I'm just going to skip mine for now. And voila, you're all set up. Tap on finish. And we are in business. So now next thing for the next video, I'm going to go ahead and insert the uh, SIM card. If you guys want to know how to do that, look in the link below in the description. Okay, good luck guys.